Oh no, not you! Don't hurt me! Don't hurt me, please! Uh -uh. Hey guys, what's up? So I'm gonna show you guys another cool mod today, and this mod is called the Buddy Cam mod for Minecraft 1.4.6. Wait, buddy, that's the me! <laughs> <laughs> no pork chop. This this mod isn't meant for you. Oh, three man! <laughs> Anyways, guys, this mod allows you to see your friend's screen at the bottom right corner of your Minecraft game. If you guys are looking, Burn Alec is right over here, but I could see his point of view from the bottom right corner of my screen. That's a new window that will open up anywhere he goes. Look at him, he's going inside his underground house, his basement. There's a crafting table. What is he doing? The chickens! He's... No! The chickens! No, I'm not gonna let this happen. I got me a stick and hopefully he could see me. Oh, he saw me. He could also see my point of view as well. So if you're gonna go and troll with your friends and you guys have this mod installed, he could see exactly where you're at and he happened to kill all of the chickens. There's no chickens remaining. This mod was released somewhere around 2012 and I really haven't heard much of it. It hasn't really been noticed that much. Uh, you could enable up to three screens so you could have up to four friends with this mod and you could see every single person's point of view. But always remember that the more screens you have on your main screen, it's gonna fill up your whole entire screen so you're not gonna be able to see your point of view at all but you could see your friends point of view as you guys see right now it is raining at my point of view and if you guys are looking at burn Alex's point of view he's underneath his basement looking around he could break torches you could see what he's mining but you can't see what item he's holding um I believe there's a setting that you could actually see what he's holding you see that he's breaking blocks and you could actually see the blocks falling on the ground so you can see his point of view perfectly now this is his little private server that he's been playing with remix 10 tails and some of my other friends and uh, another thing is when he picks up items you're gonna see that the item appears in front of my screen I'm gonna replay that video for you guys to see that there was an item in front of my face for a second so that's one little bug when he picks up an item it shows up on my screen as well anyways guys let's go over here because there is a certain viewing distance if you run away very far away from your friends um, you know obviously you guys always run away from your friends you know that's that's the point of having a server you run away you destroy their house and yeah anyways guys if you run away for a very long time let's say there's a certain viewing distance this screen is gonna go away and it's gonna display a message saying that there you go uh, he isn't near you anymore so the just the screen disappeared and because Bern Alex isn't close to me therefore I cannot see what he's at and there is a certain block radius and it's not the whole entire server but you guys have to be somewhat close to each other to see each other's screens another cool thing about the buddy cam is that if you see your friend is way over there and if you have Optifine installed in Optifine if you press control you could zoom up but another cool thing that you could see is that it zooms up his screen as well so if I press control you can see that it zooms up not only my screen but his screen as well so that's actually really awesome if you could see what your friends are looking at with an Optifine advantage and you can see that Burn Alex has a bone and arrow it looks like we have to fight to the death bring it on Burn I have a when you press F5 to see what's behind your character it also works for his character as well because you are controlling the camera and you can see everything that he's looking at so if you press F5 again you can see his face and not only you could see his face but you can see my face so every time you change your camera location it actually works on that little window as well so there are some small bugs in the buddy cam mod I believe it's still in development if you guys see the sky is absolutely white and if you look at his screen it's blue so that's only one disadvantage you can't see the beautiful sky anymore and also there's another bug when you happen to hit a block uh, let's go ahead and go up to that dirt block over here if you happen to hit it you can see that the sky turns blue again you'll see it watch this I'm gonna hit it and look at that you see that it turns blue for a second every time you hit a block uh, the sky would happen to turn blue again it's like a little small bug but on his screen it doesn't really show up it just lights up his screen for some odd reason but there you guys have it that is the buddy cam mod it's actually very simple to install all you have to do is just mess around with some configs and enable it for you and your friends to be able to actually have this mod installed both you and your friend have to have this mod installed on your guys's client all right so that is pretty much it about this mod this is the buddy cam mod and you could see your friends point of view so you could catch them while they're trying to grief you so this gives you a really good advantage you guys could both see each other's screens and if someone's lost you could say hey turn right because I'm right behind you and you could see their point of view anyways guys that is pretty much it about this mod if you guys like this little house over here or this mountain that's going on this bridge this is actually a survival series that burn Alex is making so if you guys want to check out his channel links in description anyways guys if you guys are interested in this mod you guys want to know how to install this mod well then let's go ahead and see how to install this mod 
And uh, that's pretty much it. So let's install this mod. All right, so let's go ahead and install this mod. This mod is really easy to install, so we shouldn't have ourselves any errors. But the first thing I'm gonna do, of course, before installing this mod is go here to options and force of the game. The reason why I'm gonna force of the game is because I have mods currently installed. If you guys have mods currently installed, I always recommend to back them up because you're never too sure if this mod is compatible with any of your mods. If it's not compatible, well, then you're gonna get yourself a black screen and you won't be happy. So options, force, update, and login to download a brand new Minecraft thought jar in which we're gonna mod it so I'm gonna go ahead and leave this updating so I'm gonna minus this and you guys are gonna get the downloads from my description it's gonna take you to my website you're gonna get mod loader the mod underscore buddy cam and you guys are gonna get my special uh, man-made uh, configs because this configs will allow you and your friends to actually um, you know communicate faster you could get the configs from his actual forum you can make the configs yourself but I already made it for you guys so just download it it's a media fire download and all it is is just a text and that's pretty much it so once you guys get these three downloads let's go ahead and install this mod I'm gonna go here to start search a program follow I'm gonna type in percent app data percent and for Windows XP users somewhere around you should see run and you run percent app data percent and it should take you up here to the roaming folder Click on the roaming folder and you should see DOM Minecraft in the very top. You're going to go into your DOM Minecraft folder, you're going to see bin, resources, save, and everything else. Go into your bins folder. Before you open up your Minecraft thought jar that's located in your bin folder, you have to make sure you have your Minecraft game closed. Here's my Minecraft game that I just forced updated. You have to exit off your Minecraft game before installing any mods. So exit off your Minecraft game, now right click your Minecraft thought jar that's located in your bin folder, open with WinRAR. So open up your Minecraft thought jar with WinRAR and move that aside. The first thing you have to do, of course, before installing any mods, is to delete meta inf. You have to delete meta inf. So right click meta inf and delete files. So delete meta inf. Say yes. Why would you keep it? Just delete meta inf. And now what you're going to do is open a mod loader. Double click mod loader and you're going to move that aside. You're going to see a lot of files from mod loader.zip. You're going to highlight those files and simply drag it all into your Minecraft.jar side. Wait a little bit. Add in place. Press OK. And that is pretty much it. All you have to do is just drag over the mod loader. Uh, all the files into your Minecraft thought jar and once you have done that go ahead and exit off the zip and mod loader zip you are done with both of those so now what we're gonna do is go back to your dom minecraft folder since you're still in your bin so you're gonna go back to your dom minecraft folder just press back one and there we go here's the bins resources save and everything else if you don't have a mods folder you have to create yourself a new folder so right click new and folder and call it mods m-o-d-s and press enter so there you go so bins mods resources save and everything else go into your mods folder that you just created or you probably already have it so go into there and what you're gonna do is you're gonna drag over the mod underscore bunny cam straight into there so that's it now run your minecraft game once and then close it so now that we have the mod underscore bunny cam in our mods mod loader should be able to pick it up and load the actual mod but uh you can't you have to add in the configs because if you don't add in the configs then you can't cam with your friend so what we're gonna do is launch minecraft once and then we're gonna exit that off we're gonna exit that off and what we're gonna do is go back one so go back to your dom minecraft folder and you should see that there's a configs folder in your dom minecraft folder go into configs and you should see there's a mod underscore bunny cam screens so this is your already generated screens it looks horrible right so what you're gonna do is exit this off you're gonna delete your mod underscore buddy screens in your configs delete that because you already have one that you downloaded from my description so delete your mod underscore bunny screens and you're going to drag over the one that you downloaded from me so here is the mod underscore bunny uh, cam screens drag that into your configs and you're not done yet after you have copied it uh for some reason i can't copy it over so i'm going to go ahead and copy and paste it so i'm going to copy and paste for some reason i can't do that so anyways here it is mod underscore bunny cam screen that you guys got from my downloads should be located in your configs folder you're not done you're gonna right click that you're gonna open that up with wordpad because if you open it up with with notepad it's not gonna look great so open it up with wordpad and you should see it comes out like this this is perfect so you should see right here it has it has my name s doc steven and it says right here s doc steven what you're gonna do is you're gonna change this right here s doc steven to your actual friend's name so let's say i want to cam with burn alex I'm gonna put burn Alex and you have to spell his minecraft name correctly so don't put burn Alex too so this is my friend I want to cam with burn Alex and you're gonna go here to uh, screen dot player name replace my name and call it uh, burn Alex as well so I'm gonna call this burn Alex um, let's just change that there we go so I'm gonna call this burn Alex as well so you have it burn Alex and burn Alex this is the friend that I want to you know uh, cam with so if your friend is installing this mod he has to do the opposite of what you're doing he has to put your name in his configs 
So right now I'm putting uh, Burton's name in my configs. That's the only way I could actually talk with them. Now down here, you should see that right here in the default, render quality. This depends on your computer. If you have a really good computer, then you could change it up and down if you want. Number two is medium. That means uh, this two right here, uh, screen render quality two. Two is like average, one is best, and three is worst. So one through, so one out of three, which one do you want to keep? So I'm gonna just go ahead and leave it at one because uh, one's the best, that's that's what I heard. One's the best quality, it says right here. So anyways, you could just mess with all these configs, you can see what it really means, it's pretty much self-explanatory. All you have to mess around with, all you have to mess around with is the render quality and the uh, your player name. And that is pretty much it, go ahead and save that. You're gonna save that, and then you're gonna actually play in your server, and it should be able to work on anyone's server. So you could be in anyone's server, you could have a griefing squad, you could do whatever you want. I don't know what you want to do with this mod, but this mod does not work for Minecraft 1.4 point something. I'm not even sure if it's like, uh, I don't even know what versions there are in this uh, mod. So you could just test, test it out and do whatever you want. The mod did work. So anyways guys, hopefully you guys will enjoy this mod. I'm going to go ahead and catch you guys later. If you guys need any help, check out my help forums. But anyways, see you later.